I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Teslong Endoscopes. Teslong makes some of the best endoscopes in the world, more specifically, their rifle and pistol borescopes. Teslong was founded in 2009. They ship worldwide and have a 30 day free return policy. Their scopes produce some of the best quality HD video. They're extremely durable and the batteries last for up to four hours. They're compatible with most devices, including Android, iPhone, and laptops. They have a variety of attachments, whether it's articulating, flexible, or firm illuminated cameras, different size mirrors, and more. They're committed to scientific innovation, ISO certified manufacturing, efficient product development, and cutting edge design. Teslong's products are designed in America with insights from veterans, and they have an international team of over 40 professional designers, engineers, and developers to make the best products around, and they have a discount for veterans. I want to thank Teslong for being today's sponsor. You can check them out down below is a link, teslong.com. And uh, if you're really into look, getting a better look at inside of your, whether it's a firearms barrel, the cylinder uh, of your engine, or whatever, Teslong has you covered. Check them out down below. Thank you. All right, let's get into this story here about UPS losing ammunition. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying I am not calling out any individual driver any individual uh, local UPS person, because uh, when last time I did the videos about UPS changing their shipping policy, I heard from all kinds of people who were very, very irate. This isn't y'all, this is the people above, but actually the story might be some people you know. Uh, so I'm gonna have a link down below. It's a story done by my buddy, John Petrolino, in which he talked to Patrick Collins, who, uh, runs the gun food and they sell ammunition. And what Patrick Collins told John Petrolino was that of $18,000 of ammunition that's been recently shipped, only $6,000 of that ammunition was actually delivered to the end consumer. So less than one third of his ammunition is being actually delivered to the customers. That is something to be very, very um, aware of folks. For a couple reasons. One, uh, UPS has changed. They went a little a little woke on their uh, their shipping of you know firearms parts, and uh, they adopted the ATF's rule even before the ATF made the rule active, made it a thing, and it's going to be challenged in court. The rule. So they they jumped on it because of the letter. I'll put that link up above, but I go into detail in that previous video. And now they're having issues, they have been having issues for a while, of ammunition not making it to the end user. And before people say, yeah, I read that article and it had to do with uh, labeling. UPS said that, you know, Mr. Collins' company had an issue with the labeling, to which he said that he's labeled them all the same way all along. And now since things have gone missing, he now ships every package with insurance and uh, a signature required by the end uh, purchaser which puts the attention, which puts the spotlight on UPS, whether it's people in the distribution centers or the people delivering the product or the people picking up the product, somewhere, somehow, bullets are going missing. Um, and it's not the first time UPS has had a spotlight on them on uh, firearms related you know, packages or, or products going missing in 2020. The UPS driver was caught stealing guns out of packaging. Um, so, and I'll tell you uh, on my end, I know for a fact that ha this has been an issue because I've received packages, several, where ammunition was sent to me. And while the ammunition made it to me, it wasn't always in the, in the denominations that were shipped. Uh, on all of these instances, there was four of them off the top of my head, I know four of them, where I had, uh, you know, a full case delivered to the house, but the case, the box was damaged. And in, in these instances, between one and four boxes of ammunition were totally missing. And in some of those instances, in, in all of those instances, the remaining boxes, some of them were light, meaning there were rounds taken out of those individual boxes and then put back. It's, it's crazy. You know, it's way too, it's not a coincidence. We'll put it that way. So I notified the companies that were sending them. And in my case... In, in all four of those instances, the ammunition was shipped in its like original case where it said like, you know, Remington on it or Winchester or whatever. Something that would draw attention uh, to people who might be looking to do nefarious things. 
And in every other instance where I've had ammunition shipped to the uh, to the, my either my residence or my uh, other place that I get stuff sent to, uh, those were all issued. Those were all sent in um, plain boxes. So the ammunition box was placed in another box. It didn't look like ammo. It didn't say it was ammo on it. Uh, so it made it. And this was right around that same time. Uh, so my my message to you, the consumer, is. Be careful of what companies you're dealing with, pay attention to your orders, and if you can, deal with companies that, or call the companies and say, hey, do you ship in the original uh, boxes from the manufacturer, or do you put it into a plain, uh, nondescript type box? That's the way I would I would lean towards. Now, as a shipper or somebody who owns a company that ships ammunition or a distributor, uh, you might want to start buying plain boxes uh, because UPS is saying, ah, it's your fault, you made an error. Because of what happened to me, I've seen it firsthand, I would happen, I would lean towards it's somebody doing something they shouldn't, which is making everybody else in that, uh, in, in UPS look bad. It might be a couple somebodies, but UPS, you need to flush out those couple somebodies and uh, make things right. So with that, I hope you take this information Hope you uh, pay attention to the companies you're dealing with now and maybe reach out and say, how are you shipping this? Is there a way we can put this in a different box just to prevent it? You might have to pay for the box, you know, an extra two, three, four dollars on top of your order to make sure that it gets to you. For me, yeah, I'll spend four bucks to make sure my, you know, thousand dollars in ammo makes it. But uh, till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Please share this. People need to know this because there are a lot of people right now, especially right now, that are purchasing items uh, related to the Second Amendment that uh, probably want those items to get to their residences or P.O. boxes. And if they're using UPS, they definitely need to know this. So, uh, guys and gals, thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.